Hello YouTube and welcome to my garden. We're still having uh, glorious weather here and uh, the last few days it's, it's been uh, slightly cooler. It's still warm but it's, it's not too warm like it was last week. So it's really nice to sit outside with the pipe. And yes, the pipe is my latest four, no not four, squared stemmed uh, pipe. I made the pipe last year, but I only got the stem uh, uh, a few weeks ago. in it uh, I've got the uh, Orlik golden sliced and that's a tobacco that's new to me it's this is only my uh, second bowl of it uh, and the first one I was really pleased with I enjoyed it a lot A lot of sweetness, but still there was some tobacco, true tobacco taste, wasn't an aromatic sweetness, even though I, I, I think I tasted uh, apricot and uh, even some rose hip in it, but it, it was really nice. And that was in the tin note as well, uh, apricot and, and rose hip. I think that's the name of it, anyway, rose hip. It's the fruit you get on, on from certain rose bushes, or maybe all of them. Small, orangey, red. I haven't been up too much lately. I've been uh, suffering from the cold uh, I had when I made my last video. My late yeah, a lot, uh, and uh, it hasn't really gone away until today. And today I've been uh, busy. I've been collecting a car. That has been at the workshop, and, and uh, in a li little while I, I'm driving my son to the dentist. So I haven't really had time to, to do anything around here. But uh, whatever needs to be done won't go away, so it, it, it'll be still here in the afternoon or tomorrow. What won't be here in the afternoon and tomorrow is my wife. Uh, no, she's not gone for good, but she's uh, away on a conference. So I'm uh, alone with the kids for a couple of days. Uh, and it usually turns out really well. But it's, it's always a bit of a stress factor for me. But I, I plan the cooking keep it simple and stuff they like uh, and uh, always or maybe not always but most of the time my wife is gone uh, we have TV dinners so I've got uh, a stack of DVDs that we're going to watch I think we'll start off with uh, the first of the Pirates of the Caribbean this evening. And then there's uh, also Gladiator 
Rusty Crow. And <coughs> a couple of Swedish films as well. So there'll be plenty to watch. I've been having uh, for a week, my wife and I have been having discussions with our 11 year old been uh, complaining about his bedtime and the thing is he, he he really needs to sleep a lot he needs to sleep much more than his younger brother so we try to get him to, to bed quite early and he's been complaining that all his friends stay up till till uh, 9 30 or 10 and uh, if he would do that, he'd, he'd be wrecked the following day. But uh, apparently, that's not the way he looks at it. And he, he gets upset uh, when we try to force him to bed. But once he's there, he falls asleep. So. Obviously, he was tired. But he, he's in the period of his life where he's going into the period of, of his life where uh, his friends, what they do and what they think. Mm -hmm will matter a lot. At least that's how it seems to me. Because he's been a lot more conscious about h how his friends behave and uh, what they think, say and do. And he wants to watch the same TV programs and yeah, and that's normal, that there's nothing wrong with it, but he's been, he's been a bit unfortunate uh, um, with, with the two parents that are not really average around here, we're different from most of his friend's parents. First of all, all we're, we're, we're quite older than they are. Uh, it seems like we don't share their interests. And, uh, our values when it comes to, or <coughs> I don't know, yeah, maybe values when it comes to, to uh, things like internet and gaming and stuff like that is uh, well both boys are a bit upset that they haven't got an Xbox or a PlayStation to play, uh, play with uh, they've got their phones and to me that seems to be plenty because they, they're always on their phones unless You tell them they they can't play. Well, that's not really true. The, the older boy sometimes uh, puts the phone away and does things on his own outside. But the younger one, if we don't tell him to stop playing, he'd play the whole day. But once he gets outside and plays with his brother, he, he seems to be enjoying it. Until they start fighting. Uh, they're not really <laughs> not really great at cooperating with it with each other. But they've begun actually playing together. Uh, I'm no 
good that the games they play, I don't, I don't know the, what they play. Uh, I look at it once in the blue moon just to, to see what kind of games they are at. Uh, but at the moment they're, they're playing something that's a bit like Counter-Strike, but it's not Counter-Strike. And they're playing on, on, on their phones, but they're a team in the game. And there they seem to be doing fairly well. And I know, I don't know, but I, I think the, the language of the game is English. Because last. <coughs> Yesterday afternoon, I think it was, uh, I heard them sitting, playing, and they start talking English with it, each other. And uh, their English isn't very good, but it, I suppose it's, it's good that they practice. I prefer when they speak English all the time when they're playing, otherwise they, they uh, just substitute Swedish words with English ones. And sometimes they might be a suitable Swedish word, but most of the time there is, and uh, that annoys me a bit when they start using English words. And there's a perfectly good working Swedish word for it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been rambling about my, my voice now. But, uh, They're a big part of my life, and really, I, I'm just getting back into being a active father with them. <coughs> Sorry, for quite some time, several years, I. I, I seldom had the strength to play with them uh, but I, I'm getting back into that now and they're getting older so they, they don't have the need or they don't want to play me, with me uh, that much any longer and when we do it, it it's in a different way <coughs> sorry it's not a trago, it's a gold. And um, I'm making a, a tree house, I think you might call it a tree house, with my nine year old. I'll uh, throw in some photos of it. It's in, yeah, it's in the chestnut tree just behind me. And um, both of us really enjoy that it's really good it's uh, it's the tobacco <coughs> and, and then there's the sweetness with the apricot and the rose hip. Really good tobacco. I'll, I think I'll be going through the tin quite quickly. Seems to be a good uh, summer tobacco to me. It was supposed to be a flake, but the flakes had all uh, stuck together, so it, it looks more like a plug. Or a crumble cake because you can rip off long 
ribbons with your fingers. And that, work, that works fine with me. Yeah. I don't know how long I've, I've been going now. But, but uh, I think I'll close the show here. Thanks for watching. Take care. And uh, hope to see you soon again. Bye.